Hey everybody, welcome to my video on two-part tariffs. For those of you who don't know, a two-part tariff is a pricing strategy for firms with market power. I teach it alongside with first, second, and third degree price discrimination. And it basically comprises of two prices, hence the two-part. One is a per unit price. It's a price that customers have to pay for every unit of the good. And the other is an upfront price which is a price just to enter the market, really. So an example of an upfront price versus a per unit price would be like buying a printer as an upfront cost and then ink cartridges as sort of a per unit usage of your printer. Uh, another would be like buying a video game console and then having to buy each game as you go, stuff like that. And by setting up these two-part schemes, we can make a lot of money. So I want to look at a market where each customer has the demand curve P equals 100 minus Q. And there's a total cost function, 1 8th Q squared, derive that, marginal cost quarter Q. Traditionally, or if they were a single price monopolist, we would choose Q by setting marginal revenue equal to marginal cost. We're not going to do that here. We're not trying to choose one price, we're choosing two. So that approach is wrong. So what I want to do is I want to look at this graphically real quick. And the first thing, I want to choose my per unit price. And the way I do that is I'm going to set my demand curve. I guess it's an inverse demand curve, but you get the idea. So my inverse demand curve equal to marginal cost. I'm looking for this point here. Specifically, I'm looking for this price that goes with it. So what's that look like? Well, that's 100 minus Q equals 1 fourth Q. Simplify that, you're gonna get Q equals 80. Plug that into your demand curve. Price equals 100 minus 80 equals 20. So to choose my per unit price, I'm just gonna set it equal to marginal cost. And in this case, that's 20 bucks. So my next step is I need to choose my upfront price. How much is my consumer willing to pay in order to be allowed to pay $20 per unit? I'm basically asking how much extra willingness to pay does this consumer have? And that means I'm talking about consumer surplus. Now as a review, consumer surplus is everything below, de below the demand curve and above the price. So, with a straight line demand curve like this, that's easy. Consumer surplus is one half times the base of that triangle, 80 units, times the height of that triangle, 100 minus 20 is also 80. This thing comes out to be 3,200. My consumer, if they're paying $20 per unit for 80 units, has $3,200 of excess willingness to pay. If the firm knows that, then they will set their upfront price equal to $3,200. So this two-part tariff, what would it look like in the end? It would be the upfront price equal to $3,200 and the per unit price of 20. And so what would happen to the individual? They would buy 80 units of the good for $20 each. After paying this $3,200 startup fee, the consumer surplus would be zero. And the producer surplus would be all that red space plus all this space now which is $4,000 if you do the math, but I'm not gonna worry about that in this video. So I hope this tutorial is helpful to you. Two-part tariff and all that. Thanks for watching, you guys. Uh, let me know if you wanna see something else, and good luck econing.